Let's see if ChatGPT can do a C++ homework assignment. So here's the assignment that we're going to try. This is from a module on C++ memory management, where we're learning about writing constructors and destructors and allocating memory. I am going to include the sample main method here to see how it handles that. So I'm going to copy this from the assignment directly into ChatGPT, and let's see how it does. So it's thinking. Here it's allocating a class. We have some members. That seems correct. Here's our constructor. Very good. We're allocating the array as correctly. And here's our destructor. Again, that's correct. So we have the fill array. Now notice the directions didn't actually say fill array, but that's in the sample code. The instructions just mentioned that there is a function that does that. And here it's generating a print array method. So then our main method is looks to be identical to what the original was, but then there's a second example. So it actually adds to the original. It took the original one and then added some additional test code. And then you can see both of those seem to work appropriately. And actually one thing it looks like it may have done that was fairly clever was, yeah, fill array has a start. Okay. So, I don't think that that was ever actually specified here anywhere. It figured that that was the way to do it because it took a parameter. Why not use that as a starting point? So that's pretty impressive that it figured that out. Let's not take its word for it. Let's actually compile this ourselves. So we'll minimize this and we'll look at an Ubuntu window. So let's copy this solution into a file. I think I got the whole thing here, so let's compile it. And you can see I get an error message, see out's not a member of standard. So this is pretty indicative that we're missing include IO stream at the top of the code. So when I add that, it does compile and it does run. So I think overall, this is pretty successful missing the header file is not ideal, but I think that's a pretty straightforward thing. The class is really the difficult part there. So if I was grading this, I would look at this and say, well, this is probably about 95 to 100% done. It's just a matter of what sort of penalty there is for the code actually not compiling. Now, out of curiosity, I wonder if we gave it the same thing, but said include all necessary include statements. And then we'll be able to tell if this works pretty quickly because we'll see at the very top that will change. And there we go. There's our IO stream. So I will stop because I know that the rest of this will work. But I think overall, that's a pretty good job of completing this assignment.